the country, all over the world, because it truly is the 50th annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tessa Mentis, joined by my friends Julie Friendak and Eddie Garcia. We just had the chili flight go by. We just had the national anthem. Um, the balloonatic himself, Steve Stucker, Steve is Stucker. coming up here. So I, I think that means we're officially started. <laughs> yes, yes. If Steve is here, we're officially underway. Yes, I'm yes. here and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you, Steve. How's it been? Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to my world. This time of the day. You guys are usually working at night. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good start, huh? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. What a show. Mm -hmm. It is that just... aerial drone show to start things off. Oh, this morning. Yes. Kind of absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. First time ever, it's right? It's like using yep. the sky as your personal movie screen. Yeah. I've exactly, never right? Seen something like that. So yeah, for for people who are just joining us, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to show video of, of what we're talking about here, but I will say that if you have access to social media, a bunch of us posted videos on Twitter and Facebook because it is the 50th Balloon Fiesta, so we know that they're kind of pulling out all the stops oh, yeah. this year with a lot of new special things, mm -hmm. and one of them that Julie and, and Steve and Eddie were talking about was the aerial drone show that was just oh. unbelievable. You have to come out and see it. It's, mm -hmm. it's unlike anything I've seen here before. Yeah, and, and, and somehow I missed that in the pre-promotion. I don't know if they kept it a secret or... Yeah, I think yeah. they kept that one under wraps. You know, but uh, my gosh, I was like, oh, it's lasers. And then somebody <laughs> said drones. <laughs> and I'm like, what do we got next? UFOs? I mean... Uh, they it, do. It was yep. amazing. Yeah. It really I, was beautiful. I was telling Tessa, wow, we really do live in the future now. Well, and, you know, we were set up in, in a situation where we weren't able to show that with our cameras yep. early in the morning. We were pointing the wrong direction. But if they do it tomorrow, and I'll find out if they're going to do it each morning. I would imagine they will on Sunday. Then we'll be set up so that you can see it from home if you're not out here. At the oh, park. what a show, though. But, I mean, seeing it in real life is unlike any other. Yeah, it was uh, just spectacular. And everything this morning has been good. Yes. You know, we, we've been saying today may be the best of the rest of the next nine days. Yes. All okay. of a sudden, what, we've been cruising along how many weeks with uh, clear and 80, clear and 80, <laughs> exactly. calm and 78. And all of a sudden, balloons are here and so is a chance. Wouldn't storm. you know it, right? <laughs> but this morning, everything, the, the wind seemed to be with us and working oh, wow. very well. Yeah, yeah, we're getting a great, uh, a great aerial flyover oh, wow. right now. Yeah. And uh, the crowd is cheering. We see uh, several different groups of balloons that are up in their static position, uh, waiting for permission to to launch this morning. Of course, they'll do that. There you see them. Yep. Yeah. They'll 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 launch in waves this morning. But Eddie was referring to the wind and Tessa. We had the box early. I hope it holds for the mass ascension. They were talking about that. So a after the the aerial drone show, of course, we have Dawn Patrol and then a, a very special um, Dawn Glow. This this morning that involved the oh, yeah. 13 balloons that reenacted the first ever balloon fiesta that we had 50 years ago at Coronado Center. So everything, like Steve and everyone has been saying, has been great so far oh, yeah. uh, to kick yeah. things off. And I will say, out of all four of us, I had the easiest time getting here today. <laughs> but that yeah. just goes to show how how excited people are. And we always see that on the first day, but mm -hmm. even so much so this year. Yeah, first year, uh, first day of every year is always a mess for parking, no matter. They always try something new. Then they usually end up going back to the old tried and true. Right. I got here at 3.30. That's usually, you know, driving right in. I was stuck in traffic for about an hour this morning. Wow, but that was uh, something uh, special that was going on with the problem. It shouldn't be like that for the rest of you the rest of the week. And you can see the crowds right there. Absolutely. I'm going to say dense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're talking numbers, not intelligence, yeah. right? <laughs> Scientific <laughs> term from the meteorologist. Yeah, because I love this crowd. This is overall, oh, this is yeah. the nicest group of people yeah. you'll ever find anywhere yeah. at a big worldwide event like this. It's just great to be somewhere where everyone is excited to be here. Sure, we got up at two in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. But everyone is happy anyway. And, and I always say that I don't care how old or sophisticated you may be, you come out here and you're going to turn into a little kid on Christmas morning. Oh, that's great. Right now we're looking. 
looking at uh, looks like the coyote has taken a flight, and that is right in front of the New Mexico True balloon. Um, wow. This is yeah, a, a couple really up great there already. Start. And that, it, so you're seeing just a couple balloons so far. But thing, before everything starts getting off with the first wave and the mass ascension and what have you, but we have close to 650 balloons prepared to launch this year. 648 to be exact. That's the most we've had in in a decade. We've got 100, nearly 120 special shape balloons. 20 of those are brand new. So we have a lot of, of things to share with you today over these next couple of hours for those folks who who didn't uh, didn't make it out today, but we're going to give you a good show here at home. All right, so we're going to have some fun this morning as we enjoy the balloons, and you'll also be able to show off your balloon fiesta knowledge. Today we're testing how well you know your balloon fiesta history. All right. Okay. So and of course this isn't for us here on the stage. No. This is for our viewers. Uh, the first question. The question is, how many balloons flew in the first balloon fiesta? Okay, your options are 5, 13, or 20. So all you have to do is go to KOB.com slash vote, choose your answer, and we are going to reveal the answer a little bit later in our broadcast. For now, we want to just sit back. You've heard enough from us. Enjoy the balloons, everyone, and we will let you know that because it's the 50th celebration, you're going to have a little bit of a 70s feel at home, okay, with that cup of coffee. We're, we're taking it back to the, is that the disco age? Yeah, yeah. We're the gonna disco get, age. Uh, we're going to get the Funkalicious here. Yes, <laughs> with all of our music. So we'll check back with you in a little bit. But again, 50th Inter Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta coming your way.
cups of coffee in you, so I don't feel bad testing you already, That's right? right? That's right. Okay, so we have our trivia. Here's the first question. How many balloons flew in the first balloon fiesta? Again, your options, 5, 13, 20. <laughs> so it looks like a lot of people are, <laughs> are kind of certain about that one. But if you think you know the answer, go ahead and pull out your device. Go to KOB.com slash vote, and we will have the correct answer after the break. Thursday is kids. Our coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. It has been quite a morning so far. We've got balloons flying already, and we have a very special guest joining us the first thing this morning. Merry yes, Christmas. Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. It's Merry so Christmas. good to be here today. This is our second one that we've been to, and the reindeer have brought me down. They said, You got to find a faster balloon than what these are. We'll never make it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> so we and haven't found one yet. And I'm still trying to find a Santa Claus balloon. I think that would be awesome to have a Santa Claus balloon here. We have Darth Vader. We have the the big cow that's here. Why not have a Santa Claus one? You know what? Good point. Do you have any interest? I do. Yourself? Yeah. No. 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 That's that's we you only have 350,000. At least <laughs> <laughs> we only make toys, Steve. We only make toys. <laughs> We'd love to get you a special shaped balloon. I know. Yeah. So Santa, you've got three lists. You said. I want you to tell Steve your uh, your joke. Oh, I have. There's three lists that I have. There's the nice list, the naughty list, and then there's the one that Steve's on. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we can we'll leave that to our imagination. <laughs> the really, really nice list, I guess. You know, Santa, I always say out here, no matter how old or sophisticated you may be, you turn into something akin to a child on Christmas morning at Balloon Fiesta. And I try to hold it on 364 days a year. I take Christmas Day off because it's a rough night. But other than that, we're out there spreading the Christmas cheer and mostly the magic. There's Christmas magic that we try to spread out and just let these kids know, give them five minutes of happiness in a most unproductive way. We see them on the highway. We see them in the malls. We see them in the restaurants there. And kids get up out of their seats and they'll come tell me hi. And I always ask the parents, is it okay? And they said, yeah, it's all right. Aww. So Well, you're doing sweet. a good job. Very you're in sweet. the perfect location to we spread that cheer. We awesome. Have fun out here this week. <laughs> Thank I will. You, Santa. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll go back. It. Yeah, we'll go back to Tessa and Eddie for some trivia. Go figure. Steve would have his own list. Always. Yes. Always. Exactly. <laughs> Imagination indeed, friends. Uh, okay, now we are revealing our first trivia answer of the morning. We asked, you answered, how many balloons flew in the first balloon fiesta? All right, you know, since it's an early hour, I think we threw a softball out there. Yeah. All right, so obviously, <coughs> and of course, this shows that the people watching know their stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's 13. 89% of you got that right. That is... Uh, <laughs> Really high passing grade. Only yes. 89 percent. Oh, Steve, man, you're a okay. tough grader. That, he, he's he, he's a tough teacher. The rest of us are not used to these early hours yet. Hey, I, it's my I'm lunch just, break. I know. To my We're world. usually in our third REM cycle yeah, by no now. Yeah, kidding. I know. Yeah, and of course that was back in 1972. So 50 years later, what is it? 648 balloons. Yes for yes. this 50th anniversary, and it is going to be an amazing, amazing show. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's why we have the 70s music too, right? Is that why I thought maybe they were just borrowing Steve's uh, playlist? Steve, Steve Smooth Jam. I was on the radio playing those things before you were born, so let's not, let's not push the subject hey, here. You remember when those were new? <laughs> all right, all right. So we're on to the next question. Who is considered the father of Balloon Fiesta? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, hi, hi, hi. So, my hands up. My hands up. All right. Okay, Steve, calm down. <laughs> Your options are Sid Cutter, Steve Stucker, <laughs> or Marty Chavez. Go to go to uh, KOB.com slash vote. Ball. That's and get in on the now. Get in on the fun. <laughs> Who came up with the options? That's what I want to know. Oh, I don't know. I think you Steve know? put his name on that thing. <laughs> Oh, our producer, That's Paul. Paul. He All was right. quick to get in our ear and answer Paul that Riley. question. Paul okay. Yes. Good Kudos man to there. Paul, to Paul Riley. All right, everyone. We want to sit back and let you enjoy some more of those smooth 70s jams here at the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta.
enjoying these amazing sights from the 50th anniversary of the International Balloon Fiesta. So we left you with a question just yes. before this break. Here it is. Who is considered the father of Balloon Fiesta? So you have a choice between Sid Cutter, Steve Stucker, or Marty Chavez. And uh, we have some sharp viewers, Tessa. It looks like we they do. know what what's going on here. We absolutely do. All right. Test your knowledge with us. You still have time in case you, you're on the fence about it. Just go to KOB.com slash vote. And we're going to have your final answer right after this quick little break. KOB TV goes almost everywhere. A news team that is committed to digging deeper and going beyond the headlines. And that's what you're going to find at KOB people who truly care about what's happening. Make it a great day. That's what you want to stand for New Mexico. Welcome back to our live coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. It's been a beautiful morning so far, and we know Balloon Fiesta really turns into its own small little city. And you can see uh, the crowds already <laughs> proving that to be true this morning. Um, there's a lot of places to eat, a lot of things to do, of course, a lot of places to shop, like our own Discover Balloons. And so this morning we've got owner Patty Lewis with us. Patty, thanks for joining us. I know you're probably busy down there. Oh, yeah, extremely. <laughs> um, so tell us about Discover Balloons. How'd you get started and, and what are you all about? Oh my goodness. Uh, so back in, uh, well before I met my husband, he uh, was a balloonist and he noticed at balloon events there was no souvenirs to buy. So um, when I met him, he said, I have this idea and it's like, oh, okay, well that's a good idea. So in 1998 we started, or no, I'm sorry, 1988, okay. we started to put together some merchandise and travel to balloon events. And eventually we were trying to decide where we would open in a store because none of our family thought that we had a real job. We were kind of like gypsies. So we just said, well, where else would you go? You have to go to Albuquerque. It's the balloon capital of the world. So Absolutely. that's what got us here. Cool. Good choice. And of course, over the years, one of your patrons over here, one of your big fans. I get all talking. kinds of cool things from them, like these pants here. <laughs> you guys sell the weirdest things, and that's why I love you. <laughs> really, and they, they have everything from really beautiful artwork that you'd be 
proud to have in your home to just fun and goofy stuff if you need balloon fiesta underwear or ties <laughs> or hats, coffee mugs. Okay, yeah. uh, I, I'm probably forgetting about 10,000 items. No, you guys a have a big store here. We do. We do. What, yeah. else do you have? what else do you have? What else can people find? Well, this is our new item. This is a solar balloon, so it looks like a real balloon flame. So, yeah, those are really popular. Uh, we have wind chimes, wind spinners, uh, you name it, we have it. <laughs> uh, you dream it, we probably... By for yourself at Balloon Fiesta, we all have relatives or friends far away that we're trying to encourage to come out. And when you get something like they sell and pack it up and ship it to them as a Christmas gift or for a birthday, then that just lights the fire for them to come and see Fiesta. Exactly. Awesome. And Patty, where can people find you this week? This week we're at Space 94 to 97 at the Balloon Fiesta Park and in Old Town at 205 San Felipe. And how big is this week for you guys? It's it's Christmas. <laughs> there you go. We're we're spreading cheer. We're spreading Christmas cheer all over the place. You just Patty. missed Santa, but he's I know. Never, right? <laughs> Patty, thank you so much. Have fun okay. this week. Thank we'll you. head back to uh, Tessa and Eddie for some trivia. All right. Thank you, Julie. We asked you earlier who is considered the father of balloon fiesta, and your options there were Sid Cutter, Steve Stucker, or Marty Chavez, and Tessa. Let us reveal that answer. So, yes, you all know Sid Cutter is considered the father of Balloon Fiesta. 76% of you getting it right. Sid was actually approached by what was then KOB Radio and TV to fly his hot air balloon at the station's, station's 50th anniversary party. So from there, it expanded to become the event we all know and love. It eventually recognized it as the first balloon fiesta. KKOB Radio and KOB TV are now separate. The radio station is celebrating 100 years on the air this year, and KOB TV has been, uh, you know, coming into your home for 74 years now. We've been doing this. And, and you know, Sid Cutter had the original idea. He wanted to do something special for his employees at the uh, airplane company that he had. Mm -hmm. So they inflated a hot air balloon inside their giant hangar, oh. and everybody loved it. And word got out, and and that's where the radio station came up with the idea. Sid was involved in this uh, up until his death, and he was such a humble man. You know, we've got the beautiful uh, pavilion at the south end of the field, the, the the Cutter Pavilion. But he would come by every year and say hi and give me a pin, and just never made any big deal of himself. Just really, really humble and gracious. And uh, what a what a great symbolic person he is for for this event. It's really it's really great the history of the look. Excuse me, Blue Fiesta. Yes, totally. <coughs> it's crazy and amazing to see how it's evolved over the years, too, that we've made it from just those 13 balloons we've been talking about all the way to today, 648 now. And I have to check. I lose track. I think this is the fourth or the fifth park. And of course, this is permanent, okay. but uh, they, they had a couple of smaller places. They used to be across Alameda in what is now the RV parking lot, and it was yes. all gravel and rock. Then they moved over here and put the grass in. Of course, they use this pretty much as a year-round facility with soccer oh, yeah. and concerts and things like that. But it is just a, just a wonderful facility and uh, just so cool to have it here in Albuquerque. Well, and that actually brings us to our next trivia question. Here we go. Where was the first balloon fiesta held? Your choices, Cottonwood Mall, Auto Center or Expo New Mexico. All right, you've got time. Just pull out your phone, your tablet, whatever you're you're working on. Oh, Steve's third fan club just walked by. I think those are people I owe money to. <laughs> Go to KOP.com slash vote. Give us your answer, and we will check back here in a little bit. For now.
some nice 70s funk directly from Steve Stucker's 8-track. <laughs> I think that's where we're playing it from, yeah. I think so, yep. <laughs> yep. All right, so we asked you the question, how well do you know your Balloon Fiesta trivia? And the question here is, where was the first Balloon Fiesta held? And your three choices were Cottonwood Mall, Coronado Center, or Expo New Mexico. Yeah, you know the answer. Yep. Right there, it is Coronado Center, right there, and that is where we got the first launch back in 1972, where it all began 50 years ago, and that's where the music came from, too, Tessie <laughs> and Julie. <laughs> So, Definitely. yeah. <clears throat> People are crushing these. They are. Yeah, they are. Their they brain are. connectors are on fire this morning. Yeah. And also, while you're headed to KOP.com, go ahead and get in, uh, get in on the fun in our trivia game. The next question will be right after the break. We'll be right back. Don't you dare miss kids. Live from Balloon Fiesta Park and high above the field in Chopper 4, this is KOB Force coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Good morning, everybody, giving you some sights of the 50th. Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta from the ground, also from Chopper 4 today, and we're having a little fun with you, testing your balloon fiesta knowledge. Our last question was, where was the first balloon fiesta held? Your choices, Cottonwood Mall, Corp.
Coronado Center or Expo New Mexico. And, you know, I think you know your stuff out there. <laughs> With 98%, the answer is indeed Coronado Center. And that is, wow, that is a passing grade right there. I would if think I've so. I've seen one. Yeah. So, the fun part here is, is that because it's the 50th, yesterday, in fact, there was a reenactment of the first balloon fiesta. It happened at Coronado Center. 13 balloons went up. We actually had one of the original pilots there yesterday. Oh, wow. And we were able to find in our, you know, we dust off the cobwebs and everything <laughs> else in one of our KOB4 closets. And we were able to find archive footage of, of where we interviewed him uh, during. No way. Yes, during um, his early piloting days, and then we uh, spoke to a family who, um, a, a daughter whose whose father was one of the 13 original pilots as well. He's no longer with us, but it just shows you the generational love of, of piloting yes. of this event um, just continues, and, and we embrace those pilots, we embrace those families who who really put Albuquerque on the map with with what they do, and and just bring so much joy and excitement to our state every single year. And I saw original envelope there yesterday too, wow. which is pretty impressive that after that 50 years oh, really? you're still, yeah, that's right, yeah. I saw it in our coverage yesterday, the Incredible. original envelope, yeah, just speaks to the durability of these out there. Exactly, and, and it, you can you can tell that people treasure. Mm -hmm. These are, these are yes. like treasures of 50 years ago, yes. and now we get to enjoy it uh, to what it's become. A truly world class event yeah. here in our hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and really represents a whole state, too. It absolutely does. So, we want to continue with our. Oh, before we do that, we are oh. going to show you a fan favorite coming up here. This is Arabelle the Cow. Arabelle. She's starting to really inflate there. She's waking up. She she's, is. Yep. She, she, she's got a, a few cups of coffee in her. She's there ready go. to go. She's looking good, looking yeah. small today. We'll continue to yeah. monitor her because she she inflates. It's very rare that she actually gets up in the air. Oh, you know, okay. she likes to give everyone a show, but right. sometimes she's just not feeling it. Yep. And hey, that's okay. Hey, but she she's able to give us a longer show down here because all these yep. balloons, once that's they're right. up, they're up and gone. Exactly. So Arabelle's here to stay. Exactly. All right, let's go on to our next trivia question, folks. And remember, you can just go to KOB.com slash vote to give us your choice. The next question, about how many people viewed the first balloon fiesta? Your choices, 1 million, 100, or 10,000? KOB.com slash vote, 1 million, 100, 10,000.
right, we're joined now by Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller. Mayor Keller, thanks for being here this morning. First of all, you had a really good word to describe the field out there. How's it mm. been this morning? You know, it is electric out there right now, and it's amazing because you can feel a different kind of energy this year. And, you know, because I think it's my 44th balloon fiesta, roughly, but it's the combination of the 50th anniversary and post COVID, you know, no regulations or restriction. And it is, it is exciting out there. I mean, you can feel it on the field. It's awesome. Absolutely. And so the city has done quite a few things to, to pitch in to get ready for Fiesta. Um, share with us a little bit about how Albuquerque's gotten ready these past few months. You know, uh, we're always concerned about traffic. It's always an issue, but I think we've done some major things, especially on the way out. You can access directly onto the freeway through our new slip ramp. We've got a new turnaround for park and ride, which seems to be working well this morning, as well as a couple of new traffic lights, which are helping. And I think most importantly, we've spread out the field. So there's there's balloons at every corner of the field now. So um, that's there's a lot more than that behind the scenes, electricity and all that. But we're just happy it's going off without a hitch this morning. And 50th year, of course, we've been talking about it for months. It's huge. It's proof in the in the crowd this morning. Um, how huge is the expectation for the city from this fiesta? You know, this is a big deal for us. It's about 200 million in economic impact. Uh, we get roughly a million visitors. We'll see what we hit this year. But I think also as the 50th, you know, it's um, it, it's amazing to think about what this means for even uh, living in Albuquerque. You know, growing up here, we take for granted thousands of balloons every year. And, you know, our kids grow up pretending they're hot air balloons and things like that. That's special. And so we're also just grateful for 50 years of enchantment uh, when it comes to balloons. All right. Well, Mayor Keller, thanks so much for joining us. I know you've got some favorites to check out with the family. So um, enjoy it. the morning. Tessa, Eddie, let's get back to trivia. Julie, yeah. Mayor Keller, thank you so much. We're giving you a shot again of Arabelle, one of the fan favorites. It's always exciting, Eddie, when we're sitting up here and then we hear a big cheer and we turn oh, around. Yeah. It's usually because one of the fan favorites has taken off. I know that uh, you guys saw Smokey Bear take off a little earlier. Smokey, yeah. Yes, yes. So we do want to get back to our Balloon Fiesta trivia. So here we go with our question. This one is a numbers question. We want to know how many people viewed the first Balloon Fiesta. All right, so here are the choices, all right? We're uh, asking whether there were one million people. 100 people or 10,000 people. So little, I think uh, the hardest question of the morning so far. Yeah. Make sure you're going to kob.com slash vote to participate and we'll reveal the answer in just a little bit. But because this is the 50th anniversary uh, starting way back in 1972, we have some nice Funkalicious 70s music, some jams yeah. from Steve Stucker's 8 track. Yes. And we hope you enjoy along with the sights and sounds.
is flying high. Everybody and good morning. Welcome back to KOB Force coverage of the 50th annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Over my shoulder, literally hundreds of spectacular hot air balloons dotting the skies over Albuquerque. A lot of them are drifting towards Corrales and Rio Rancho. A lot of headed out over to the west side. It's just a beautiful start to this long-awaited 50th anniversary. Quite the event. Kim Vesley's been here for a long, long time. How many years at the Fiesta itself? This is my, uh, well, it's, hard. it's my 47th consecutive Fiesta, but I started as a reporter with KOB covering the Fiesta in 1975. Well, so. well who, would, who would think that a young girl like you had been around that long? You know, that's great. Now, since then, you, you've been very involved in Fiesta, both uh, as a volunteer, as a fan, and and you become quite well schooled in, in all aspects of Fiesta, but you have a, a great interest in the America's Challenge, the, the, the gas balloon races. Yeah, I'm the media liaison for the gas balloon race. I've been doing that for about 20 years now. And, and yeah. this, is, this is very, very different from what folks see this morning. Explain the difference in, in, in that event. Well, this morning, of course, you're seeing hot air balloons that use hot air for lift. The gas balloons are pretty much all white. They use hydrogen for lift. Uh, and because of the efficiency of the hydrogen gas, these balloons can fly for several days and they can travel very long distances. Now they're still dependent on air currents and, and we've seen races where they've only gone a couple of hundred miles. We've also seen them go all the way to the Atlantic. All the way to the Atlantic and well up into Canada. Uh, the, uh, the record is a team that landed near Labrador City. Now, uh, they, they take off, and, and they're hoping to launch tonight, mm -hmm. and um, these usually go in teams of two, and they hunker down and go where the wind takes them, but they can have some control over that by their altitude, correct? Yes, they, they can vary their altitude to try to find the winds that take them in the direction they want to go to try to achieve the greatest distance. And they are teams of two, and they live in these baskets that are only slightly bigger than a hot air balloon basket for two or three days. Now, how many teams do we have competing tonight? We have eight teams. It's a very distinguished field. Uh, we have three American teams, an American Polish team, a French team, two German teams, and a German Swiss team. And we also have the current world champions this year uh, in distance gas ballooning that are part of this race. Now, there's a, a launch window tonight of, of what time? When do they hope to be able to launch? The window opens at 6 o'clock. Um, obviously, we'd like to launch as early in that window as we can, and there'll be a noon briefing for the pilots at which they'll uh, you know, determine uh, further what the weather looks like and, and when they think they can launch. Well, you know, in the forecast, we do have some weather moving in in the next couple of days, so I'm, I'm assuming that tonight will be as good as it gets, so we hope they're able to launch, and uh, I assume that, as usual, you'll drop by during the week to keep me posted on where they are, how far they've flown.
flown and who the eventual winners will be. Yeah, that, that is some of the thinking, is that the weather is uh, tonight probably the best it's going to be for a while. So they do want to get out tonight. And, yes, obviously I will come and keep you posted. All right. It's a pleasure. Kim Vesley, thank you very much. Back thank to you. Thank you, Steve. All right. Thank you so much, Steve and Kim. We are really asking the questions, the hard questions here to our viewers. We are journalists, we after are all. We are journalists. <laughs> journalists, gonna <good> journalists. <laughs> so, do you know how many people viewed the first balloon fiesta? So, the choices were 1 million people, 100 people, or 10,000 people. Well, Tess? All right. The right answer, which I think is going to surprise a lot of you, 10,000 people. What? Yeah. Wow. I think we were all, you know, trying to do the, the comparisons. All right, 13 balloons, maybe 100 people. Nope. 10,000 people. That one, that one stumped quite a few of you. Now, today, hundreds of thousands of people, of course, attend Balloon Fiesta every single year. Thousands more watch from home. And we yeah. bring it to you every single year. I mean, oh, my God. That's our first really good shot of the, the crowd that you're about to oh, see. Yeah, oh, yeah. Holy moly. It's yeah. about 10,000. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it can be as high as around 800,000 people coming to our Look home state, coming to our yeah. city mm -hmm. um, throughout the nine days of Balloon Fiesta. But and talk like about Keller an opening said. day. Look at that. Yeah. That's, That's literally great. an ocean of people right there. And I was going to say, Mayor Keller mentioned just a little bit ago, $200 million in economic impact. So yeah. all Incredible. these people from around the world coming and, and spending money in our city, which is really exciting for everybody. Definitely. Right. And I think what's helping here is uh, I was kind of scouring the Bloom Fiesta website this morning to make sure I Research. had the correct. That's right. <laughs> and also that I knew how to get the directions here. <laughs> okay. It changes from year to year for us. And uh, there are links for people. Uh, visiting from out of town what to do mm -hmm. when you're in yeah. town and of course the tram that's a big one of course Old town that's another one uh, our dining scene which everyone oh. loves red and green chicken. nothing like of course. listen we have the best offer so yeah it's a uh, truly you can feel how excited the crowd is out here it's yeah. just and of course the mass ascensions are always you know the fixture right that's right. what everybody comes for those and the the glows at night but there are tons of other events that happen all throughout the nine days at Balloon Fiesta, uh, right here at the park and, and in some other places as well. If you're looking, though, at this year, nearly 650 total balloons, the most we've had in a decade, nearly 120 special shapes, 20 of those brand new this year. I do feel like we've seen, you know, every time we turn around, there's another special shape going up that yeah. Yeah. is yes. so impressive. I mean, we've seen the alien, which I know is going to be a fan favorite here on out because that is a new special shape. Totally. Uh -huh. The UFO um, in our true New Mexico, uh, in our true New Mexico way, tapping into those. That's right. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're gonna, about to get a shot yeah. of the, uh, the new saucer. Or what's, what's the yeah. what, uh, UFO? I think it's just called UFO. Oh. Gosh, I need more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we saw Tico too. I yeah. think that's probably a new fan favorite. The sloth. Yeah. Oh, the sloth. The sloth so balloon cute. was very cool. And the black sheep. We must not forget the black sheep. Have we seen that yet? What's? Did we just Monty. see it? Monty. Monty. Yes. I, I know because we have Monty stuffed animals in the studio. We do. And and those eyes just hypnotize. You me. really connected with the black sheep, didn't you? Did. I really did. <laughs> we just have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, I'm not certain. Paul, can you tell me if we're doing the next question quite yet? All right. We're going to work on that here in just a little bit. But uh, we want to make sure that you're enjoying the sights of Balloon Fiesta as this massive section. And let me tell you, Tessa, Julie, you know how it is for the KOB weather team. Oh, yeah. Uh, the weeks before Balloon Fiesta, and especially what I call our Super Bowl, 
week of Balloon Fiesta, and I'm very happy to see the gorgeous weather conditions out here, um, which it, it's not your traditional Albuquerque box. And the Albuquerque <laughs> box is simply uh, different levels of wind. At the surface, ideally, you want the wind to blow to the south. Then as the balloons rise up into the atmosphere, then you have another layer of wind blowing them back to the north with the idea of they land back at the Balloon Fiesta Park. But yeah, we're, uh, we uh, also want our audience and our friends watching to be involved. So we have questions for you, right? So the next question is, this is, a, this is a good one, too. Which famous characters graced the program and posters for the first Balloon Fiesta? Your choices are Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner, or Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So go ahead and join in the fun by going to KOB.com uh, slash vote to uh, give us your answer. We Looks started. Like we have a favorite so far. We yeah. started with softballs. And it's just getting more yeah, and more, getting more, yeah. more difficult as it goes on. <laughs> so, but it looks like we've got a favorite already. Yeah, I think so. Everybody, thanks for joining us here on KOB4. Our coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta will continue. And because it's the 50th anniversary, this thing got kicked off in the early 70s. That's what we're gracing your ears with today. Uh, some, some hits. Seven. I don't know if they're hit. You know what? There are hits. <laughs> there <laughs> there, there from, are hits. It's Steve music from the 70s. Golden Collection. Like I said, it's what yep. Steve likes to jam out to on the way to the studio. Totally. Oh. Totally. Enjoy it, everyone. We'll check back with you in a little bit. Thursday is Kids.
welcome back. You've been watching KOB4's live coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. This morning we've got some important players joining us. We've got Al, the president of Balloon Fiesta himself, and Rick from our the sponsor, Exxon Mobil. So thanks guys for joining me this morning um, and for being here. Al, let's start with you. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better start, could we? No, we couldn't. And uh, I'm just so excited that the, the drones went off. We kept that a secret for a, a whole long time. <laughs> And uh, I mean, I, I know the media was trying to get to it, but you guys couldn't. We'd have to kill you if we told you. <laughs> it was an amazing surprise, though. Let's talk a little oh. bit more about that. For anyone who missed it, I'm sorry if you missed it. I'm sure there's a ton of coverage of it on social media. Um, how much planning went into that? Oh, a lot. And uh, just to kind of let you know, there's eight more times coming. So, I mean, it'll be uh, every morning. Uh, I, I don't know if it's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but it definitely would be on shapes and uh, we'll have that and uh, we've just been we plan from when we finish this fiesta we'll start planning for the next one and we plan all year long uh, just to let you know we only have 18 staff members and all the rest of the people are volunteers wow. and a lot of people don't realize that we are a nonprofit I'm a volunteer I've been on the board for 32 years okay and uh, so volunteers are essential to us and if I don't do anything else today I want to thank all these wonderful people that are from our city mm -hmm. and from our state and from our country that actually come here to help us put this on. Awesome. And Rick, let's talk a little bit about Exxon. What's what part are you guys playing this week? Well we're we're just proud to be to work with Al and his team and, and this group as the lead or primary sponsor. Just a great opportunity to showcase all that New Mexico has to offer the beauty of Albuquerque and Fiesta. We're just really excited being a sponsor for the golden anniversary, 50th anniversary, and for the next two years. It's just a great opportunity to showcase everything that New Mexico has to offer. And Al, for you, 50th anniversary, we're out of the pandemic, we think. Um, so we are forever. <laughs> um, is that just like the perfect storm that's brought everybody back together? I think, I think what it is, I think people have been tied up in their homes for so long, and to really get free and enjoy the fresh air, the New Mexico Christmas. You know, take take a look at what's going on out there. Look at all those beautiful balloons. You know, I like to call them the gentle giants. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're so fantastic. And, you know, I can't thank our staff for what they do. I mean, if you look at this field, it's hard to believe that 18 staff members work all year long to put this together, run all of our volunteers together. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I also have 22 other board members that work with me every year to make this what it is today. And, you know, they have all been, not all of them, but some of them have been past presidents as well. So they're really great. I mean, this is really a, you know, a volunteer type thing. And what it does, it brings $186 million to the city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico in 10 days. That's just the economic impact. That doesn't include all the taxation and revenues that come from taxes. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Al, Rick, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we're going to get back to the, the sights and the sounds of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. We'll check back with you soon.
we're back. We are. Oh wow. We Look were at that crowd. we were just sitting here um, chatting about all of the new special shapes that it's kind of nice because they're all right together. So we we kind of get to the most bang for your buck. You're looking at Steggy right there, the Steggy. dinosaur. He's brand new and he's next to that little guy. Um, oh, let me what was his name, Paul? Sorry. Loby. <coughs> Globy. Oh. Well, he's really staring him down. Dougie and Globy are in a stare off That's right, right now. Right. Yeah. He's not blinking. Two brand new special shapes that we're seeing this year. And I saw, you know, I, I'm awful with the names of them. The new screwdriver. <laughs> the new screwdriver. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Hear it on. We're a screwdriver. There we go. You Simple have like enough? half of the name already. You know, these cold meds are kicking in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm noticing one of my uh, one of my favorites, I'll be selfish in saying this. Yeah. We've yeah. got Buster blowing up over Buster across the way, the little bulldog. He's super cute. Oh, yeah. He's super cute. I'm not sure who this uh, person is, but... Um, Oh, and right behind yep. Globy, we've got the new UFO, which is bound to be a fan favorite. Yeah, just because for sure. uh, an ode awesome. to New Mexico oh, there. Yeah. I mean, it's really been successful so far today. So earlier, if you're just joining us, you know, there are some very classic fan favorites. Like we had Arabelle the cow. Uh -huh. She mm -hmm. inflated. She's down now. We know it's very rare for her to actually take off. It, it's tough with a balloon that size. Yeah. You know, as sensitive as balloons are to wind speed. Yeah. Arabelle is even that much more. It has to be perfect. There's the, the flying bus. The party bus. Oh, yeah. Yep. One of my favorites. Uh, from all the way from Brazil. All the way from yeah. Brazil. That flying bus flew all the way from here, from Brazil. Even with gas <laughs> prices the way they are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, everyone. Something new we're doing this year is Balloon Fiesta Trivia. That's right. So you can go to KOB.com slash vote to show off all of your Balloon Fiesta knowledge. And, Eddie, do we have another? Well, we have yes, a question. We, we haven't answered it yet, though, right? Um, Let's see. I, yeah. We're we'll going to answer, answer the next, next okay. uh, after the next commercial break. Uh, but the, the current question is, of the famous characters which graced the program and posters for the first balloon fiesta. So what do you think they are? Is it Mickey and Minnie Mouse? Uh, is it Coyote and Roadrunner? Or Charlie, Brown, and Snoopy? It looks like a lot of our users are favoring one over the others, but uh, yes. we're going to reveal that answer right after the break. I think Pay It Forward is really about recognizing people who are just making a difference, who make their community better. It's really, really a privilege to get to tell some of these stories. Nominate your hero for Pay It Forward at KOB.com.
and welcome back to our coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Okay, we want to get started right off here with our trivia question. So the the latest question we've asked is which famous characters graced the program and posters for the first balloon fiesta? Your options were Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Wally Coyote and Roadrunner, or Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And da, 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 da. the answer is Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. Yes. Of course, everyone knows that. 50 years ago, the characters were used, uh oh, without permission <laughs> <laughs> on material Who knew? from, <laughs> from Who the knew you had to ask? <laughs> hey, it's easier to ask for goodness than permission, right? Yeah, that's our motto. <laughs> You know what? And, and back in the day, the first balloon would go and land uh, like the Roadrunner, and then the others were the coyotes chasing after, and that was the competition oh, to see who could get the closest. That's yeah. cool. Well, and, and today, uh, the Balloon Fiesta has, has an official partnership with the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity, which paved the way for multiple Looney Tunes characters to be incorporated legally, <laughs> legally, into the Fiesta. And also, what's new for this year, the parking lots are now named for the those characters, yeah. um, and so as you as you head in, and trust me, you'll have plenty of time to, to read those names. Uh, bidi, 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 that's all, folks. Uh, exactly. shh, be very quiet. I'm looking for a rabbit. But listen, a uh, little, little too personal, maybe. But Julie, uh, you have some visitors in town this I year do. for Balloon Fiesta. I do. I just met your father, oh. and we're going to spend the next 30 minutes talking about some high school incidents that he oh. brought me up to speed on. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, great. <laughs> like that. And, and, and Eddie's been making fun of me all morning saying that this 70s music was mine. But what he's not telling you is that I taught him all his dance moves. So oh, that's right. where I got him from. So if you want to blame somebody, you know how to blame now. Yep. Steve's got the music and he's got the dancing. We'll have to bring that out. We're going to do a two-man show and go on the road. Tickets are already sold out. What do you know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, so great. I think we're going to reveal our last question of the morning. Is that right, Paul? All right. Let's get to it. Um, you're about to see one of the new special shapes. I just want to throw that out there. That is Carpenter with a D. Oh, and there's where a screwdriver. Hey, there they are working together. You're going to see them, I promise. Okay, here's your last question. How many balloons were invited to the first balloon fiesta? 15, 43, 21. That's a tough one. Got any ideas? Well, don't tell them because it's not the answer yet. No. But you can you can give your answer by going to kob.com slash vote. We'll share your answer again. 15, 43, or 21. How many balloons right? <laughs> were invited to the first balloon fiesta? All right, everybody, giving you some more, some more sights of a beautiful first mass ascension here at Balloon Fiesta Park. We'll take a, a quick little break from listening to us and just let you enjoy the sight from wherever you are right now.
welcome back to KOB4's coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. We're here with Craig Cawson. He is the chairman of the of the board of the oh, Chuck Jones yeah, Center. Chairman of the board. Chairman yeah, of the board. Yeah. Very official. Yeah. Very official <laughs> stuff in your Looney Tunes. I have to wear a Looney Tunes pretty much wherever I go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so talk to us first and foremost about um, the Chuck Jones Center of Creativity. Yeah. So I, I'm actually Chuck Jones' grandson. So I have the family tie. I got sucked into the family business about 30 years ago, but uh, 23 years ago we started the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity, which we do programs all over the country, mostly for kids, but also for autism groups, seniors of mild cognitive impairment, to encourage their creative thinking to find that, that unique creative genius that they have inside them. So we do big events at sporting events, we've got programs here, Looney Tunes characters all over the world, so we have a good time doing that. And Looney Tunes are all over the place at this fiesta. Talk about talk to us about where they are, where you can find them and see them. Sure. So, I mean, obviously, Roadrunner Coyote were here 50 years ago. Now, the inside scoop is they actually did get permission, but they were told they can't sell the balloon with the Roadrunner Coyote on it, which is the same when we did the recreation this year with Roadrunner Coyote 50 years later on the white balloon that we saw ascend right. earlier. Uh -huh. uh, the same thing. They can use it, but they can't sell it because it's a big work of art. That's the way it was done. But there's Looney Tunes everywhere. All of the, the volunteers have Looney Tunes on their t-shirts. There's a whole like Pokemon Go type thing going on with augmented reality. So there's QR codes all over the place you can find. And we have artwork from Chuck Jones actually here uh, at the Chuck Jones Gallery pop-up that uh, we brought down from Santa Fe this time. So there's Looney Tunes all over the place. Go find them. Bugs Bunny, Roadrunner, Daffy Duck, Marvin Martian. We're all here. And so when you come visit your pop-up here, what can people expect? Great artwork. The official artist of, Dan, uh, of the uh, Balloon Fiesta, the fa la bleh, I'm going to say it, last five years, uh, we have his artwork in the gallery, and uh, Chuck Jones' artwork will be there, so there's fun things. There's pins that are available. We brought a Pepe Le Pew pin oh, that we what? did, which I'm going to give you, because wow. you have to have one. Okay. Wear it proudly, hopefully. It's the only That's place awesome. you'll find Pepe here this time. <laughs> 50th anniversary one, but um, yeah, there's a lot of history of Chuck Jones around, and you know, Chuck loved New Mexico. He came to Santa Fe from the 60s. He used to come out here. Roadrunner being the state bird, mm -hmm. well, you know, it became the state bird in 1949. First Roadrunner and Coyote cartoon, 1949. New Mexico became a state in 1912. Chuck was born in 1912. You think that's just by chance? I don't think so. I don't. Think yeah, so. I don't think so. That's awesome. And so, how does it feel to? to still have Chuck around and, and have him honored here at Balloon Fiesta. I got 40 years with Chuck before he passed away, and that was 20 years ago, and it does still like feel like I am working for him, with him. And so he continues to bring his magic to the world like he did for 70 years, creating over 300 cartoons while he was uh, working, and, uh, and now we all still get to enjoy his characters. Awesome. So I hope everybody enjoys Looney Tunes and everything that's going on at the Balloon Fiesta today. And that Pokemon Go type setup that yeah. you've got is really cool. So definitely people should Absolutely. should check that out. Yeah. All right. Well, Craig, thanks for joining us Thank this morning. So and we're going to head back to the, the sights and the sounds of the field right now.
just a wonderful kickoff to the 50th anniversary it of has. the Albuquerque International mm -hmm. Balloon Fiesta. Yep. And of course, we've been bringing some tunes from the early 70s <laughs> because this goes back to 1972 where everything started. So let's go with our trivia here. Do you know how many balloons were invited to the first balloon fiesta? And uh, of course, you can give your answer by going to kob.com slash vote. Your options are 15, 43, or 21. All right, so, you know, actually, there's a pretty good spread here. I think there yeah, are people that are pretty one. close to divided. Yeah. yeah. We will reveal the answer just after the break. Folks, 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Look at that crowd. That's just wow. a snippet. This really is, I think, one of the more successful first days of Balloon Fiesta, Eddie. I think so, too. I've been to about 12 of these. Yes. Yeah. And this is the most exciting, large yeah. scale. Um, just, you can feel the buzz in the air right now. Totally. It's awesome. And we've, we've been able to see so many balloons take off today. Day. So many new special shapes as well. Right. I mean, the most the most balloons we've had in the better part of a decade, nearly 650 of them. So you know they really tried to go all out for the 50th celebration, and so far the team has done just just a great job. And we're only you know what four hours into the we're festivities. <laughs> 
it just started, yeah. And I'm happy that the weather is just perfect. Yes. This is exactly what you want on a morning like this. Yeah, it's great. It really is. Just enough wind to get everyone by, not enough for any concerns, and, and just picture perfect so far. We have had a lot of fun this year with our new trivia segment, and we have our last question that many of you have been answering. Thanks to those of you who have participated. Again, you can go to kob.com slash vote. The last question was, how many balloons were invited to the first balloon fiesta? 15, 43, or 21? And I think this one is uh, thrilling some people because yeah. a lot well, of the other questions have been pretty obvious. A um, couple, uh, two Two questions ago, through some people too. Right. So, yeah. so we're we're steady, It's like the SAT. Yeah. We're getting progressively more difficult as we go on. And, and hopefully, you know, uh, hopefully we don't choke yeah. on these answers. <laughs> All right. So, we are revealing the answer to you. It is 21. And it looks like 53% of you out there yeah. got that answer right. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that that is the answer. 21 balloons were invited to participate in the first balloon fiesta, uh, but only 13 actually flew. And the other balloons had to cancel last minute. A what's quoted as miserable storm in the Midwest is blamed for at least some of the pilots missing the first event. And the 13 who made it uh, flew their way into history, and that's where it began. 50 years ago, back in the early 70s, Tessa. And yesterday, we had a reenactment of the 13 balloons launching from Coronado Center, where we had the first ever balloon fiesta back in 1972. Had at least one of the original pilots there yesterday as well. We met many families of other original pilots who are no longer with us, but this is such a generational hobby, a generational. Oh, event. Yeah. So many children who are now teens and adults say, oh my gosh, I grew up going to Fiesta right, every yeah. year. And that's what, you know, now that I have kids, I think, oh my goodness, like we went to uh, Balloons Aloft yesterday uh -huh. at my daughter's elementary school. And it, it's really uh, great to think that, you know, she and my son are going to grow up with that, looking forward to this is just in their backyard every single year. What a privilege for that, you know, for just growing up here. And, yes. and getting to see that. Yes. We we're talking about this a couple days ago. Uh, I didn't grow up here, neither did you. Right. But can you imagine having that as a little kid? It's in your DNA. In your schoolyard. Yes. Oh, if you could just turn back time, right? Definitely. <laughs> it, it's so, so, so exciting. And uh, like, like we were saying, we had a great aerial uh, drone show oh, uh, yes. to kick things off today that, that was just. Yeah, fantastic. So many more special surprises to come with the 50th anniversary. We want to get to our friend Julie Frendak, who's standing by to, to talk about how things have gone so far and maybe what's in store for the rest of the nine days, Julie. Yeah, Tessa, thank you. And we're here with Tom Garrity, a spokesperson for Balloon Fiesta, familiar face around here. And speaking of that aerial drone show this morning, one of the people who kept that a very big secret from us. <laughs> I'm going to sleep so well. You know, we have so many secrets going into this event. Now we have no more secrets. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, about 350 <laughs> drones were a part of that program. Wasn't it great? It was It yeah. was just absolutely amazing. And, and we know it'll be on for, for days to come. So if people missed it this morning, there'll be plenty more chances to catch it. Um, but I want to start with you, Tom, talking about the Balloon Discovery Center. It's back this year. What can people expect over there? Yeah, Balloon Discovery Center, we're so thrilled to have it back. Uh, you know, Balloon Fiesta really wants to make sure that children have a way to get hands-on on learning about the fantasy of flight. And so, you know, there are a lot of hands-on exhibits to learn about how to fly. You can make a balloon. Uh, you can even pilot a balloon uh, through a remote control. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just a great activity for kids out there at the north end of the park. 
and uh, we're so glad that it's back. Awesome, and I know we're a couple days out from it, but Music Fiesta is back too, which so many people are so excited about. So what can we expect there also? Yeah, you know, Saturday midday, October 8th is going to be fantastic because we have Restless Road starting us off. Uh, Lainey Wilson, who has like nine CMA nominations here at Balloon Fiesta. Awesome. That's fantastic. And then Cole Swindle. Uh, it's going to be a great afternoon. Of course, people just want to make a full day of Fiesta. That's the best day to do it. Absolutely. And in between then, we've got a lot of, of different flying events going on. So what are some of the more exciting ones that, that you can share some about with us? Yeah, well, you know, one of the most exciting flying events that we have today is the Mass Ascension because we actually uh, unofficially uh, broke our old, our own new world record. So uh, we launched about 625 balloons is what we were scheduled to do, and uh, which is really fantastic for us. So we're planning for a glow tonight along with the America's Challenge. They have a pilot briefing at uh, noon today. We anticipate they'll launch about 6 p.m. of a glow, and then tomorrow morning we get back up and we get it all going again with about 625 hot air balloons in our mass ascension and, of course, the great balloon glow as well on Sunday night. Awesome. So 50th year. Um, we've got so much fun stuff back after the pandemic. Um, how does it feel to be back, and how has it gone so far this morning? You know, it's, uh, you know, we, we knew that we would have traffic coming in, and we did, uh, but you know what? It appears everybody made it out to the field, and everybody has a big sigh of relief, a lot of smiles, uh, just to see balloons back in Albuquerque and just celebrating, uh, you know, 50 years. It's quite an accomplishment for Fiesta. It absolutely is, and, and you've got that right. A lot of smiling faces out there. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we'll let you get back to it. You're a busy right. guy. Um, and for now, we will uh, just hit the 70s music and let you enjoy the, the sights and sounds on the field.
Live from Balloon Fiesta Park and high above the field in Chopper 4, this is KLB Force coverage of the 50th Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta.